Hi, I'm David Flowers, Licensed Professional Counselor. Welcome. It is Wednesday, 2 o'clock, and so we're here to do our weekly uh, little mini kind of lesson, I guess, where uh, I dispense uh, hopefully wisdom and guidance and hopefully some things that you can find uh, helpful in improving your own uh, intimate relationship. Uh, I have specialized in couples work uh, for the last 20 years. And the idea of doing these videos really is just to give everyone who's able to see them an opportunity to get information that they can use uh, at no charge to them to improve their relationships. It's something that I'm passionate about. So today I want to talk to you about how it really is the little things that determine whether or not a relationship is healthy. Dr. John Gottman, who has done research on couples for the past 40 years, and incidentally, uh, the majority of the work that I do with couples is based on the research that Dr. Gottman and his wife, Julie, have, have done in the past several decades. And something really important they found uh, was that couples who remain uh, together and stay closely connected respond to each other's uh, bids, what we call bids for connection, 86% of the time. Okay, a bid for connection is really any time that your partner uh, comes to you and says to you pretty much anything. I mean, if you think about it, if your partner says to you, uh, what time is it? Um, they're, they're needing something from you. They need your attention. If your partner says, uh, how do I look uh, in this dress? Okay, they're asking for your attention and really specifically, they're actually asking for your affirmation, right? Um, obviously, if your partner says, you know, I want to talk to you about our relationship, well then, you know, they're making a bid to connect with you to sit down and have that discussion. So really, there is almost no use in talking to your partner at all or saying anything if, um, you know, if you're not expecting them to respond in some way. And what we see from the research is that uh, healthy couples uh, do this at a high level, 86% of the time. You know how often the average couple does it whose relationship is struggling? They only respond to each other's bids for connection about 33% of the time. That's a huge difference, right? The difference between 33% and 86%, I mean, with 86%, you're getting pretty close to all the time. Right. And so it really is the little things that make a difference in whether your relationship is strong and healthy and whether, you know, you and your partner are feeling loved and cared for and are happy um, or whether that relationship is just going to, you know, get filled with more and more frustration and resentment and water under the bridge and hurt feelings until eventually partners really are just either at each other's throats constantly or just living in completely separate worlds, right? So responding to your partner's bids for connection consistently is really what it's all about. Dr. Kotman used to sell a uh, coffee mug uh, at his live conventions and uh, that mug said on the front of it, uh, everything you do in your relationship is foreplay. So think of that for a second. Everything you do in your relationship is foreplay. Okay, and what got Dr. Gottman was trying to say is that there are no small moments, right? It's not just about what's going on in the bedroom. Oh, we're in the bedroom and we're going to be intimate. What Gottman is saying is intimacy and connection between partners really is about what's going on in those seemingly mundane moments where oftentimes our partner's trying to talk to us and we're on our cell phone or we're watching TV or we're reading something um, and our partner says something, makes a bid for connection with us. And it's just very easy to sort of stay on the phone, to not make eye contact, uh, to not really acknowledge them, or maybe just to barely acknowledge them. Looking at your phone, your partner says something and you just go, huh, right? And barely respond. 
So this idea that everything you do in your relationship is foreplay is really a way of communicating, like I said, that there are no small moments in a relationship, that every single time the two of you are interacting, uh, you're making bids for connection from one another. And you are each either going to respond in healthy ways to your partner's bids for connection, or you're not. Dr. Gottman actually highlights three main ways uh, that we can respond to a connection bid, right? Obviously, we can turn toward our partner. So for example, our partner says, uh, look, honey, uh, there's a brand new bird outside at the bird feeder. And you can turn toward that, right? You can put your phone down, you can turn and face your partner, or better yet, get up and walk over to the window and stand next to them and go, oh really, which one? Right, that is turning toward your partner's bid for connection. Now your part, you say, well, you know, my partner knows I don't care about birds. That's not the point, right? Yes, your partner knows. If you don't care about birds, sure, your partner knows it. And that's why it's all the more special to them when you connect to what they're saying and you, you know, really respond to that bid for connection, right? And you make the effort that's just incredibly important as, as Dr. Gottman has, has found out. Right, so the second way you can respond to a bid for a connection really is turning away. And turning away from a connection bid really is like I was saying earlier, right? Maybe you're on your phone, you don't make eye contact, maybe you don't respond at all, or you respond just very minimally, you know, act like you don't hear them. Um, you know, it's just kind of a zero on a one to 10, you know, on a zero to 10 scale, right? And then the third way you can respond to your partner, is you can actually, um, you can actually, so you turn toward, turn away. And the third thing you can do is, is turn against. So your partner says, hey, look, there's a new bird uh, out at the bird feeder and they're all excited and you get upset and you turn to them with irritation in your voice and you say, how many times do I have to tell you I do not care about your birds, right? I'm sick of you asking, okay? So that's turning against your partner. Relationships that go the distance, relationships that are healthy and stay healthy where partners say we are happy and we are connected, our relationships where they're being really conscious. Hey, my partner just said something to me. My partner just asked me what time it is. My partner just um, asked me if I would pick up uh, one of the kids after school today. My partner just asked if I'd stop and, and pick up the milk. My partner just commented that, that I look nice, right? Those are all these seemingly mundane moments, right? That we either are making a connection to our partner in those moments or we're not. And what we learn from Dr. Gottman's work is that there's really nothing you can do for your relationship that is more important than being intentional about realizing when your partner is trying to make a bid for your connection, which like I said, it's pretty much any time they're you know, speaking to you or addressing you in some way, realizing they're making a bid for connection with you. And the question for you in every one of those moments is, okay, your partner is here and they're reaching out to you. They're asking for your attention. So are you going to give it to them? Are you going to make this habit of consistently giving your attention to your partner when they ask for it. There's just nothing more important that we can do. And you, know, you say, well, that's hard, right? Well, it is, it is hard. Life happens in these seemingly mundane interactions, you know, 500 times a day. And no, you can't always be totally on top of every single interaction, but there's a big difference between 86% and 33%. And if we're struggling in our relationship, 
we simply have to be aware that one of the most important things we can do is pay attention to when our partner is trying to uh, get our attention and really respond to them, uh, you know, by making eye contact, by asking them, you know, a question that expresses interest about whatever it is that they're talking about, right? Really being intentional about communicating to your partner, um, I care about you, you matter to me, and what matters to you matters to me. Okay? So, like I've said before, most relationships uh, die what I call a death by a, a thousand cuts, right? Just all these little, again, my term, but micro abandonments, okay? Reaching out to your partner again and again and again and again and again and again, you know, hundreds of times a day, tens of thousands of times per year, and feeling either sort of ignored, like you don't matter, or worse yet, feeling like your partner just uses those opportunities to sort of turn around and criticize you, attack you, that doesn't make for uh, a relationship that's gonna remain vibrant over time. Uh, so yeah, that's really what I wanted to communicate to you today. Um, I do want to remind you, please like this Facebook page if you haven't already. It's facebook.com slash DF Couples Therapy. So that's my business page. I'm available on YouTube, on Instagram. Uh, you can get all the information for that on my website at davidflowerstherapy.com. Thank you again for joining me, and I'll look forward to seeing you again next Wednesday at 2 o'clock. See you soon.